Hi guys. Well, here's my trusty Les Paul, and uh, it's about time for a string change. So I thought I'd show you a little trick that I use to uh, speed things up and make things a bit easier on changing uh, strings on these um, Grover tuners, or any tuner really that has a hole through the shaft instead of split shaft like a, a vintage. So um, stand by for a sec, I'll get set up and uh, we'll get started. Okay, first thing I like to do is make sure all these nuts are tightened down. Sometimes they have a habit of loosening themselves off over time and then they'll start to, to loosen off and then the little washer will vibrate and it'll drive you nuts and you don't know where the noise is coming from. So uh, what I have here is a 10 millimeter socket on a little extension and just put it on, get a little snug, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. I know they're all good because I've already done them. I'm just uh, for demo purposes showing you to, uh, that's what I like to do to make sure that stays snug. A lot of people uh, don't do that. Uh, next thing is make sure the holes on the shafts are in parallel. Everything runs in a nice straight line from the bridge tailpiece all the way through the nut to the tuner. That makes it a lot easier later on when you're trying to find the hole to fish the uh, string through. Um, you know exactly where it is. So um, this is the point where most people will put the string through and then go wind, 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 wind with their winder. I don't do that. I put the string through the nut and then I will wind the string around the post a couple times. Uh, I do one and a half from the big strings and maybe two and a half or three on the little strings. You see, and then I'll take the end and shove it through the hole. This is where it helps know where the hole is because sometimes you can't see it from the winds. So that's fished through. And then we pull it through nice and snug. Bend it up like that and just simply tighten her up and tune the pitch. There you have it. And you get your handy dandy cutters and nip off the string. That's all there is to it. Much easier than uh, doing the bazillion winds around and around and around. So, um, I actually learned that trick from a, uh, a video that uh, Seymour Duncan did on some guitar or other. And uh, he showed how he liked to do that. And um, it works uh, works beautifully. It saves a lot of time and a lot of uh, grief. Especially, like I said, in a dark stage somewhere. And um, trying to fish strings through. It's much easier to do it like this. And then just tighten her up to pitch, more or less. And there you go. Cut it off. And, uh, and keep going. So, uh, that's about it. Any questions on it, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.